I guess they've been a little switched up in the, um, uh, the uh, coaching of the defense, and I'm just wondering how's the adjustment been? And uh, um, we've been with Coach Clark uh, the whole season. We know he's a good coach. We know that he knows what he's doing. So we just uh, trust him to call the right plays and just put us in a good position to uh, make plays. And we've been having a great week, and he's been like just hands on with us, trying to break stuff down with us. And I feel like we had a, a great week of practice and great practice today. So. I feel like Coach Clark is uh, the, good, the best man for it right now, and he's he's showing that he's, he's, he's good. And personality-wise, is he any different, or what's, what's he like? Uh, uh, so personality-wise, he, he's more um, he's more like hands-on, you know what I'm saying? We uh, we slow things down now and just uh, try to correct it on the go instead of just waiting until the next day. I feel like that's good because we, um, we know when we mess up, we can just uh, get it correct right there. So I feel like that's one of the big, uh, big difference from um, him and um, the other DC. So. Okay. And finally, um, everyone says that the playing nose tackle is kind of like falling on a grenade every play. <laughs> I mean, you're sacrificing your body, you're getting hit. But what's it like for you? What, what's it like uh, being up there? And how'd you get up doing this? You got uh, you got to be a dog to play nose because um, you 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 are expected to be uh, be double team every play. You're gonna have two people on every play, so you got to be big and got to be strong in there and just and just be a dog for you because they are looking to blow you off the ball because they go they try to run the ball right in the a gap, so they gonna try to blow you off. You just got to be strong in there and just. And just handle the whole thing. But it's it's fun once you learn the techniques and just gotta get gear thing down. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, Frank. Hey John, this uh this Hawaiian offense is, you know, near the bottom of the league in terms of uh fumbles lost. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's a game where you can maybe take a little bit more chances on some some, some strip tackles or, or so to speak? Oh um, yes, we had um we had a little um uh, meeting today and uh Kosirfa had showed a little slide about how many turnovers they have, and um, he he wanted us to focus on getting the ball out. And I feel like if we, um, you know, what I'm saying, force about two turnovers, but three turnovers, no, we have a better chance of winning the game. And with them being one of the um, teams that give the ball away a lot, we're gonna focus on like, you know, what I'm saying, punching out, you know, what I'm saying, game tackling. When we tackle people, just punch the ball out and stuff like that. So we're looking to um, to to force turnovers. Now, what would that what would that mean for this defense? Um, if you guys were able to win a game where the where the defense forced a couple of turnovers and kinda of end on a really strong note. Uh, it'd be good for the defense. You know, we got we got a couple of uh, super seniors on there, and um, you know, we just want to end on a good note. So being able to just execute and just go out there and uh, create turnovers for our offense and just have a, have a good game is going to be um, important to us, and that's what we're trying to do. Uh, I appreciate you. No problem. Isaac. Hey, John, man, you were you were out last season, man, able to, to get back on the field this year, man. So up and down, up and down for this team this year. Kind of talk about. Being able just being able to get back on the field, kind of the ups and downs you guys had. How rewarding is it to have a, a trip to Hawaii, Hawaii in at all? Um, you know, we the, the, we started off pretty good, but then we hit we hit a little slump. But um, in the, in the slump, we just wanted to you know take every game one, one game at a time and just try to focus on one of the next one instead of just focus on like way way down in, in the schedule. So that's what we did, and uh, we got a couple of seniors on the team and leaves on the team that really helped us a lot and just like. Talk, you know what I'm saying? Encouraging the young guys to um, just do everything, the little things, right, and stuff like that. And it really helped us um, right now. It really paid paid off in Hawaii. You know, it's beautiful out here, and everything nice. We, and we've been really been enjoying ourselves. With my injury, um, that was hard, but just being able to be back out here with my teammates and just grinding with them every day, uh, it made it worth it. You know, so I'm just happy I'm out here with them. All right, anyone else for John? All right, I think that's it. Appreciate it, everybody. Thank you.